that side. Is it good? Go. 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 Sarah Wani, a resident in South Sudan's capital Juba, woke up on Friday 5th, September 2014 in surprise, finding herself living in a lake, which flooded a half of the city. This quantity of rainfall was not expected as Dea Hanot and Abdallah Deng explain and blame the narrow bridge for the intense flooding. Sebed Lado expresses his disappointment about the government, saying that this is not the first time the floods have affected the people in Juba. But so far, the authorities haven't provided much support. Sarah Wani and Abdallah Deng say they have lost everything and want the government to come to their rescue. Heavy rainfalls triggering floods are common during the rainy seasons in South Sudan. So far, this year in particular, the government has done little to protect its citizens and their property from the floods. For the Niles, I am Simon Bingo in Juba.